In this lesson, I'm going to address a question I got from Jason from over at the chartguys.com. So the problem he's trying to solve is that he is a stock market trader and he has a script that triggers alerts for trading setups, but the script is triggering alerts during pre-market and aftermarket hours. So outside of regular trading hours when the stock market is closed to the public. And he wants his script to not trigger alerts outside of regular trading hours. So in this lesson, I'll show you how to use the time function to detect whether the current candle falls within a specific time. And if it does, then we're going to not trigger our alerts. And then at the end of the lesson, I'll also show you how to trigger alerts if the bar falls within a time session. So right now I've got a blank script. All I've done is change overlay to true. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get user input. And the first input variable I'm going to get is the pre-market hours time session. So this is going to use the input function with a title of pre-market a type of input dot session for time session and a default value of the US stock markets pre-market hours, which are from 4 a.m. dash, which means until 9.30 a.m. And this is in 24 hour time. So we need to use 0400 for 4 a.m. and 0930 for 9.30 a.m., which is when the regular trading hours begin. So there's our pre-market session defined. Let's define our aftermarket session, which will also use an input function. And we're going to call this after market with a type of input dot session. And the default value for this one is going to be 1600 or 4 p.m. until 6 p.m. 1800. So there's our two time sessions defined, our pre-market and aftermarket hours. And of course, if you wanted to, you could just hard code this. You don't need to have this as an input. If you're trading the US markets and you're pre-market and aftermarket hours never change. You can just get rid of all of this and not have an input. So now if I save these scripts and we come up to the settings menu, you see we have an aftermarket hours, but if we didn't want to allow our user to adjust this time period, you could just hard code it like this, but I'll leave the input in for now. And now in the settings menu, we have our two pre-market and aftermarket inputs and we can change these if you want to. So let's move on. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a function for detecting if the current bar falls within a specified time period. And so the syntax for declaring a custom function is you need to give it a name and then give it some parentheses for function parameters. And the, this function parameter that we're creating is only going to take one input parameter, which is session. And now when you're creating custom functions, remember you don't need to define what data type this is, because when we go to use it, Whatever we treat this as, PineScript will interpret it and automatically uh, define what data type this input parameter is. So remember, in order to declare a custom function, we need to use the declare function operator, which is an equal sign and then a right arrow. And then the next line of code is just whatever this function returns. So when we go to use it, uh, what do we want the calculation to be that it returns? And in this case, this is gonna be a Boolean uh, function. So it's going to return a true or false value. And in order to check if a current bar falls within a certain time period, we need to use this NA function, which will check whatever input parameter we give it. And if it is not a valid number, then it returns true. And if it is a valid number, it returns false. So now if we use the inbuilt time function. So we pass the time function to the NA function, whatever we put in this time function, in this case, it'll be our time frame which is going to be 15 minutes because we're on the 15 minute chart and our session that we want to check if this current 15 minute bar falls within the session that we pass into this custom function. So first of all, we're going to pass our timeframe.period, which will just give this function whatever we've set our chart to currently. So if I change this to a one hour chart, then this will change to one hour and it will be consistent with whatever time frame we're on. The next thing we want to do is pass in our session uh, parameter. And now if I close off those parentheses, we are now checking if the current bar falls within this time frame, this time session on our current time frame period. And if it does, then this NA variable will return false because the time function will return a number. But if the current bar does not fall within the time session that we specify, then this NA function will return false. So what we need to do here is if we add on this comparative operator and we say 
does this function, this NA function, return false? If it does, then our in session variable will, will return true. And I know that's a little confusing, especially if you're a beginner. But what we're basically doing here is if this value is false, then this whole statement will return true and our in session variable will return true. So when we use this function and we pass it a time session, in this case, it'll be a pre market or after market session, and the current bar falls within that session, then this will return true. So let's move on. It'll make more sense when we actually use this uh, function. So uh, the next thing we need to do is check if the current bar falls within pre market or after market hours. So the first Boolean variable we're going to declare here and define is our is after close variable. And we're going to use our in session function, our custom function we just created here. And we're going to pass our after market time period into here. And so this Boolean variable will be set to true only if the current bar on the current time frame falls within our after market hours. So between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. If the current bar does not fall within that time session, then this variable will be set to false. And so the next Boolean variable we need to declare is is pre open. So this is for our pre market. And this will also use the in session function. And we're going to pass our pre market time session. So this variable will turn to true only if the current bar falls within the 4 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. time session. So that's pretty much all we need to do in order to detect if the current bar falls within either of these time sessions. But now I'll show you how to disable alerts if either of these conditions are met. So first of all, we're going to change the bar color if the current bar falls within after hours time. Just This is just for visual sake so that we can confirm that our variables, our Boolean variables are working. And in order to do this, I'm going to create one more Boolean variable here, which is called is after hours. And this is just going to be set to uh, either of these. So is the current bar after the market is closed or is it in the pre-open pre-market hours if either of these are true then our is after hours boolean variable will be set to true so now we can change the bar color of the current bar to is after hours question mark if so set the color to color dot black otherwise leave the color alone and set it to na so now if i save the script it compiles without any errors, that's good. Let's come down here and turn on our extended hours. And now this stock market I'm on right now, Canopy Growth Corporation is not a great example because it's pre-market uh, pre and post-market uh, data is very limited. So let's go over to something like Apple, for example. And here we go. So now see any bar that falls within our pre-market session is turned to black. Our detection is working. And here, this uh, after hours session actually went a little longer than I expected it to. Uh, it went until 7.45 at night. So let's extend our aftermarket hours from 4 p.m. until, let's say, 20 p.m. So we can just add uh, onto here 20. If we save the script, these will all turn black. There we go. So now we are detecting any candles within aftermarket hours and turning them black. So our conditions are working. So now how would you disable alerts after this condition is met? Well, that's the easy part. Now let's create a very simple alert trigger just for an example's sake. Here we'll say trigger alert only if the bar is outside of after hours time. And the alert trigger can be anything, whatever you create in your own scripts. But for this example's sake, let's just set it to something simple like a bullish candle. So any candle that closes higher or equal to its open will trigger this alert. So let's uh, write out our alert condition function. This is what will trigger the alert when we set it in our alerts dialog. And now all we need to do is pass in our alert trigger condition. In this case, a bullish candle. And make sure that it is not after hours so this will only trigger an alert if we get our alert condition met and the current bar is not within after hours time so now we set a title to alert title whatever you want to call it and your message to alert message you can replace these whatever you need to 
if I save the script and we come up to the alert box and we select our script. Now, no matter what you set this uh, alert to, any of these settings, it will not trigger if the current bar is outside of normal trading hours. And that's all there is to it. We can get rid of this plot now since we're using a drawing function here, this bar color. And so uh, that's our script completed. But before I end this lesson, while we're here and we have this code to work with, let's say you wanted to trigger alerts only between certain hours, like the first hour of the market open, for example. Well, let's get rid of one of these and change this to say, uh, just time session. And let's say we want it to be between 9.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. And we'll call this just session. And we can get rid of this now and uh, just change this to say it falls within our session. And then we can paste session in here and change this to say is in session. Now we can just copy, paste that down here, paste that there, remove the not, uh, save the script. And now you can see that we are painting any bars that fall within the session we've specified black. So within the first hour of market open, we have our candles turning black and our alert condition will only be triggered if we get our alert trigger and the current bar is within our session, uh, which is demonstrated on the chart by these black bars. So that's how you would only trigger alerts within a certain session instead of outside of after hours time within session change this to within session and there we have it and so that's it for this lesson we have successfully if i go back a few versions this version of the script here will disable alerts if the current bar falls outside of regular trading hours or in other words if it falls within the pre-market or aftermarket hours and this version of the script will only trigger alerts if the current bar falls within the time session we tell it instead of outside of it. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you found that helpful. If you did and you want to learn more about PineScript, head over to pinescriptmastery.com. Here you'll find my advanced PineScript courses and my basics course, which is free. So if you want to learn more about PineScript, head over here and you'll find out a little bit more about me and a little bit more about PineScript. I hope you found this lesson interesting and helpful. I'll see you in the next one.